Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a couple of broken makeup items here that I've been meaning to fix and I thought it might make an interesting video um, for those of you who may not have ever repressed a broken product before. I have this pretty vulgar highlight. It was broken when I got it. I've been trying to use it up and I don't know why I didn't just repress it right from the beginning, but every time I go to use it, like a big piece falls out onto the floor and then I roll over it with my chair and it's a whole mess. So I decided I was going to repress this and then um, a few weeks ago I was doing makeup for a photo shoot and I brought my um, TG powders with me. These are my working stock um, powders that I use for makeup applications. I have a variety of colors and I dropped this one on the floor and I broke it really good and it's pretty much like a full like almost brand new powder. So I wanted to repress these before I lost any more product out of them and I thought that you guys might find that interesting. So here's what you're gonna need <laughs> if you're following along. Um, obviously your broken products and some sort of a dish. I just have these little plastic um, dishes that I use when I'm doing facials. Um, alcohol, I have 99% isopropyl alcohol, so I'm gonna be using that. And something to press the powders down. So this one's in a square jar. I have this little, this is like a, it's for doing nail art. It's like a little tiny palette. And for the round one, I'm just gonna use a jar of face cream because I think it's gonna be about the right size. So. I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing and we're going to repress some makeup. So we're going to start with the pretty vulgar one. I've lost a lot of product out of this one so I wanted to get this one done before it gets worse. So if I can open it without making a mess so you can see that it's very broken. So I've got um, an old paintbrush. This one had like it's lost the <laughs> top off of it. I'm just going to use this and start breaking this up. You want it to be at basically as much like a fine powder as possible. You want to break up all those big pieces. I just turned my overhead light off because I felt like it was casting a really weird shadow. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I didn't bring my ring light with me. I had to bring my laundry with me to work today. So I had a fair amount of things to carry. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Okay, so once you've got it pretty well broken up, you can transfer it into the little dish. You can always transfer it first. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. So you can see, I'm just going to break up what's left of those little pieces. Okay, so that's pretty good. There's a few little pieces in there still, but it should be fine at this point. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to take my alcohol. I'm just going to pour some into the cap. You're gonna basically want this to be the consistency of like wet sand. So you add a little bit of alcohol and kind of stir it up. It's kind of creating a little bit of a paste see you don't want it to be like soupy and wet um, but this is actually probably pretty much where I want it to be right off the bat it's still a little bit firm which is and but it's all sticking together as you can see so I'm gonna scoop that back into its little container here So now that it's in there, just going to try to kind of move it like to the middle and flatten it out a little bit with my little paintbrush. There. Now I'm going to take this 
little thing that I've got here. Anything that's flat will do. And you're gonna start kind of pressing it down. So it fills the pan back up. Move that alcohol out of the way. Okay, so we've got it kind of filling up the pan now. So now I've got a piece of tissue. I'm gonna place that over top and start pressing. So you wanna try and find the edge and press firmly into the edge. So this is gonna remove some of the alcohol. It's also gonna help to press it firmly down and not just stick to your little tool. So I kind of press and hold for a couple of seconds. And voila. So with a highlight, for example, this is a highlight, obviously. I don't want to press it down too hard because it's going to be very firm in the pan when I go to use it. It is going to appear a little bit darker until the um, alcohol completely evaporates, but I'm going to leave that out to dry for now and we'll move on to the other one. Okay, so this one has quite a bit more product in it, so I'm going to transfer it immediately to the dish to try not to make a mess. There we go. Okay, and then same thing, we're gonna just break it up as small as possible. Okay, so again, we've got it pretty well broken up a few larger pieces in there but they'll press down so I'm going to do the same thing again with my alcohol pour a little bit in mix it up see that's not enough because it's not clumping together the way you want it so add a little bit more easier to add more if you add too much, there's really no going back. It's going to take a long time to dry. So we just want a little bit more. I'll probably use what's left in the cap here. It should be good. Yeah. See how it's kind of forming its own little like ball of product? Okay. So that's good, that's what we want. So it's sort of like a ball of wet sand, which is the consistency we're looking for. So we're gonna plop it back in its little home here. You'll notice that the color of this is quite a bit darker than when we started. You'll find that mostly with like bronzers, um, face powders, they will appear darker until they dry. So don't be alarmed, you haven't ruined your product. And I'm just going to start to kind of push that around. All right, now that that's sort of filling up its little home. Okay, so I've got another clean tissue. I'm going to place that on top. And I'm going to use the lid to this um, jar of face cream and start pressing. So this one I'm going to want to press a little bit firmer because it is a face powder, a pressed powder. I do want it to be firm. I don't want to have a bunch of product fluffing around when I get a brush in there later. You can always check it and see how it's doing.
Okay, so I'm gonna fold the tissue again and start pressing again. This one's a little bit more difficult because the packaging is actually broken, but I think it's gonna be fine in the end. I'd still rather do this than waste it. And there, whole again. And that's how you repress uh, powdered products that are broken. So we've got a solid um, pan of highlight here now. And like I said, even though the packaging on this one is slightly broken, this is gonna work just fine once it's dry. So very easy to do, doesn't take a lot of time, um, and definitely better than wasting the product. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.